back in the day where you mean, but that's probably not the question. So who won the race? <laughs> yeah. The next episode's coming up. We want to actually break apart the cabin buying process uh-huh. and the ranch development process. So right. whether it's finding that perfect property, developing that property, you know, whether it's just finding about the buying process, so the factory tour, how do you qualify, mm-hmm. how long does it take, all those things are things right. I want to cover right. to where you guys who are watching, you have a really good idea what it takes right. to set up a, a successful project. All right, hello and welcome to episode number six of Ulrich Cabins Live. Today we're going to talk about how soon can I get my new cabin. We're going to talk about the the order, build, delivery process, and really take you into what happens after that you sign on the dotted line. Uh, so I'm your host Craig Miller. I'm joined today by VP of Sales Brian Pokrivsek. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Outside of wondering, what's that? What's are you are you what's critis- the out, what's the are outfit? You criticizing today? my my yeah. outfit. <laughs> Are so, you going so this deer is, hunting or yeah, so, safety so this orange? Is a, what, what are you doing? This is a, because we're talking about the delivery today, this is essentially a bad impression of a truck driver's outfit. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did what I could in the time I had, so uh, it is what it is. All right. It's always fun to walk in here and see what you're wearing. Yeah, so. right, right. <laughs> Uh, so, as always, put your questions in the chat, whether it's about today's topic, whether it's about one of the topics we've addressed in one of the prior episodes. Or just any questions. Or any questions. Yes. Yeah. It should be related to cabins, though. It should be related to my outfit. or it, I, I, Me, personally, I prefer uh, related to cabins. Okay. <laughs> Not so much that. That's our... Uh, if you want to bash them, Our expertise. Ahead. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so. All right. Uh, and so, yes, go ahead and put your questions in the chat. We love answering questions here. We'll also be doing a, a few giveaways here. So um, probably going to be related to maybe something we talked about in the past. So just keep your thinking hats on that, you know, some of the facts we mentioned about our cabins and so forth yeah. may be coming up. So be, be quick on the trigger and have your keyboard up and ready. So um, let, let's dive right in here. So, you know, after someone comes to... They've, they've been into the factory tour, right. they've decided what type of cabin they want, what's the size, all the design, everything's been mapped out, and they're like, yes, this is perfect, they've got their land, they've got their financing, uh-huh. they're ready to sign. So they pick up the pen, they sign. And then what happens after that point? So after, uh, again, we're, we're going to sit down and design the perfect cab to fit both their needs and budget, then once that signature takes place, uh, and that we have a, a deal, mm-hmm. uh, that's when all, all types of parts get moving. Right, so, right. Uh, so p- pretty interesting, you know, we're going to actually take, you know, take the plan. Uh, step number one is going to be taking the plan. We're going to actually do a plan review mm-hmm. uh, with uh, all the different departments mm-hmm. uh, where we sit around a round table, look everyone from every department, taking a look, making sure everything we have on the plan, there's no question marks. Uh, we sort of go through it with a with a fine tooth comb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, if there's any changes at that time, say, well, well, there's a question mark here. Then there's probably some additional communication with the customer. We're, we're not real sure about what we meant, what you meant on this. Yeah. Let's get a few more details. Right. So we go we go overboard mm-hmm. and to make sure we're getting every detail correct. Yeah. So uh, then after that, uh, it, it actually will go into a uh, production mode. Mm-hmm. Uh, we start ordering uh, materials. Yep. And uh, and typically, from the time we order or get an order for a home to the time we start a home, depending on lead times, uh, mm-hmm. the typical uh, it's typically about ten to twelve weeks uh, on average. From uh, when, like, from when you sign to when the cabins actually come out of the factory, all done. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so typically about ten to twelve weeks. That can extend out sometimes mm-hmm. out to about sixteen weeks. Okay. Uh, but worst case, you know, worst case about sixteen, but on average about ten to yeah. twelve weeks. So, which, which, by the way, compared to getting a, a typical general contractor out and building on your property, <laughs> that's lightning fast, right there. Yeah, it's it's pretty quick, and we do. Uh, and I've got a lot of a lot of my friends are builders, and mm-hmm. uh, and that's sort of my network, and uh, they they're just amazed. Yeah, they're amazed, and, and, and it's very from a from a customer's perception uh, or perspective. The it's about the most headache-free build experience you can ever go through yeah. when it's all said yeah. and done. Uh, 
Yeah, we're going to custom design mm -hmm. to fit, you know, again, needs and budget. But the, the, we're building in a controlled environment. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about weather. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, building in a controlled environment. And every person, every trade line is an employee of our company. We don't depend on any type of subcontractors. Mm -hmm. So when it's all said and done, uh, you got one finger to point, and that's yeah, yeah, at me. Right, right. but you don't have or subcontractors one of, one of saying, okay, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm too busy on this <laughs> so, other project. I right. can't come help you, you know. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we don't have to deal with that. We don't have to deal with uh, theft of materials mm -hmm. on, on job sites. Yeah. And, and so there's just, it's a really... The most headache-free building experience uh -huh. you can really go through. Awesome. So, now, yeah. during the process, do customers get to see what's going on at yeah, all? Yeah. So, so you're asking, you know, what happens? So, you know, after plan reviews, now materials are coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to keep folks informed on on what the different ste uh, steps and stages that their their homes uh, going through. Mm -hmm. And the second we we start laying down the foundation, well, we're going to snap a photo and say, "Great news! You know, yeah, here comes your you know your foundation." Right, it's uh, on the line. Start it. Yep. And then we'll you'll we'll keep them updated with some photos as as it moves through the process, and and then ultimately uh, when it goes uh, when we're getting close to completion, we're actually actually going to schedule a time for our clients to come do a walkthrough mm -hmm. uh, to make sure everything's built to their expectations. Yeah. And uh, and again, that whole process, you know, about ten to twelve weeks on average. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Very good. So, um, so what happens after that? So the well, let's let's jump to this question. So the cabin is now ready to deliver. Uh -huh. Okay. Now let's say you know I've got my property over here, and you're going to deliver it to my property. Well, do I have to have like all the water, all the utilities, electric, sewer, all that stuff ready yeah, to go you know, at that and point? That, uh, that's sort of the, another cool part about what we do, and that is we you don't have to. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, you know, in a normal build process, yeah, you, you want to put in your septic, your mm -hmm. water, your electric, and have that all there. But yeah. when it's all said and done, you can do that after the, after the fact, okay. after the home's there. Right. And, and it's in, in a lot of cases, I actually encourage that. Okay. Okay. And there's a reason why, uh, especially when you get in the septics and, and water wells yeah. and stuff like that. You know, we're obviously bringing in a heavy piece of equipment, yeah. delivering, a, delivering the home, uh, it's never happened. I hope it will never happen because most people, most people have their septic water there already. Mm -hmm. But driving heavy equipment yeah. out over lines that have been just buried or yeah. septic tanks or lines or whatever, as long as they're done to code, there shouldn't be any issues. Right. But it sort of takes that that chance or that yeah. uh, even the, the slight chance of a line getting broken during delivery or anything right. like that. So, right. Nice thing, it doesn't have to go in any, yeah. sequ uh, any type of order. Right. So. so, so that basically what we're saying then is, you know, if someone wants to go ahead and get everything in place, they can. Uh -huh. if they, let's say one. Let's say the the guy who's digging your well. Let's say for some reason he's, you know, he's backed up ten weeks. Well, it's not a problem because a problem. he can come later and get it done then. Right. So, yeah. Um, so it's really flexible on that uh -huh. from that yeah. standpoint. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, so now, how do these how do these uh, cabins get on the truck? Maybe maybe we ought to uh, look at the video here. Okay. And uh, kind of actually, let's kind of take people down the road with us. Yeah. And yeah. uh, kind of see what we've got here. So. So we're we're looking at a video right now. That I think Rexy's about to start it, but that's just one of our cabins uh, that came out of our uh, operation, our factory there in Cleburne, Texas. Uh, it's stage okay. four delivery. Uh, I believe that's Jay, one of our drivers that we get tons of compliments on. Don't let him know that. But. <laughs> <laughs> and so it, our, our trailers are built to, to, for exactly what we do. And uh, they're almost like six-way type trailers. You now I've got Jay uh, strapping down the house onto the trailer. And off we go. So Jay's moving down the road. Probably getting closer to our location than stop right there, Rexy. So, so typically, one of the big questions we get is, what type of uh, you know what what does the homeowner or the property owner have to be 
what do we need to get to them for right. access access wise and and typically we, we look for about uh, 20 foot of height 20 foot of width clearance yeah for the most part mm -hmm. doesn't have to be that way right. in fact uh, I just pointed out Jay uh, and we just uh, in fact yesterday delivered a home uh, I believe out in the Weatherford area and uh, they had two rock columns through yeah. the gates and at the end those rock columns were 12 feet apart and we're de delivering a 16 mm. uh, foot section yeah. of, of you know a 16 wide type yeah. uh, cabin and and there's several ways to get around that mm -hmm. and and obviously we crane it over or, or, yeah. or we do, we just had to get it over those or we could knock down the the, the entrance and yeah. rebuild it right but there's but Jay, ironically, our driver came in this uh, yesterday, and he was like, "Hey, we got it in." I said, "What'd, you, what'd it take?" He said, "Didn't take anything. We got it in with the vehicle, with the truck." And I was just going, "Whatever." And right? uh, so they got they got a lot of tricks, and they, yeah. <laughs> they don't always share it with me. But it's uh, yeah, they got it in with the with it on the trailer, and and, and assisted by all terrain uh, lift. Yeah. So, and okay. Got it up and over. So well. the trailers we have are pretty cool for uh, what we do, and they're designed exactly for what we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those so. drivers, I mean, you know, we get into some pretty tough situations, like you were yeah. saying. And, I mean, they figure it out. Like, there's, there's a oh, way yeah, to good. make it happen. We get more compliments on our drivers than a lot, most any part of our process. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and right. that's it, right. yeah. I mean, people are yeah. just like, this is crazy. Right. So, uh, so, anyway, good stuff. So, keep going, Rexy. This particular property here, I think they had cattle on here. Uh huh. It's kind of an oil-related uh, property, I think. And uh, hey, stop right there, Rexy. So we were talking about doing some giveaways. So that's I want to get a little interaction going right now. So uh, one of my questions that I uh, I haven't asked, but one of our past episodes is I, I told you what type of log we used. Yeah. And so for anyone out there that can answer this question, there's a, there's a picture of our log right there. And I'll tell you, it's six inches. It's a six inch log, tongue and groove. Is it made with a, a not, uh, we'll call it a knotty southern yellow pine log, or B, a western pecan nutty log, or C, a western red cedar log so whoever can answer that question ten dollar gift uh, card i like how you said that with a straight face too what because one of those is really ridiculous <laughs> I, I don't get it <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway anyone that answers the ten dollar uh, gift card to starbucks right awesome okay so Rexy is going to be looking there, both Facebook and YouTube. Any questions now or no? Make make sure to that uh, whoever whoever wins that, make sure you give us our email address so we can get that uh, get that to you. So, all right, um, okay, let's let's keep going here. So we are uh, obviously going on to a particular ranch uh, somewhere in Texas. Uh, we do have an answer to C. Okay, so who was? Let, let's do this. Let's let's do the first person on Facebook and the first person on YouTube. Okay, How about so that? let's uh, pause the video there for a second, Rexy. We do have a winner on the log question. That's right. So on Facebook, looks like the first the, the winner there is Bob Sullivan. Bob Sullivan, and the answer was what? C. Western Red Cedar. That is the correct answer. So Bob, you'll be receiving a gift card. Uh, just send uh, send an email, send, send us your email, yeah. and we'll get that card out to you. Rexy at allrickbarnes.com. Um, Rexy, what about YouTube? Who's the uh, the winner there? Uh, Steve Tucker said C over on YouTube. Okay, okay. okay. all right. Good stuff. Awesome, okay. awesome. So uh, then go ahead, keep playing the video there, Rexy. So we finally got to the site. You can see the uh, stop right there. You can see this customer's done a lot of clearing. Uh, selective clearing and, and to, for the house to, uh, for us to come in and put the cabin down. So again, the nice thing about what we're doing, we're building a 100% stick-built home uh, and pure beam style foundation. So 
you don't have to be perfectly level, mm -hmm. which uh, hopefully this video will show us there, here in a second. Your so. cabin is going to be level, but, but the, the property the doesn't have to does be. The site does not. Yeah. That's, the, that's the, the best part about pyramid, uh, pyramid style homes. Mm -hmm. so. so where we are, Jay's backing it up. And this is about where the time where customers start freaking out a little bit. Right. They're, going, They're unloading my home. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of it rocks a little bit yeah. sometimes, the uneven ground and whatever. You got to cut limbs sometimes. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, so we got we're trimming a few limbs there just so we don't bang up anything going in. And now there's one there? of our mules. Stop that for a second. So that's what we call that a mule. That's on the back of uh, coming off the side of the truck there. So that that's uh, those are a very unique piece of equipment designed for our business. Uh, a very, it's a it's almost like a, a forklift, but yeah, the, 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 they're called a mule for a reason. Right. they're very very strong. They do they're, work they're, like mules. They yep. they work like mules, and it's pretty cool to watch those things in operation. So. Yeah. So how how much would you estimate? That looks like a probably a homestead maybe. How much would you estimate that that cabin weighs, would you say? Oh, I, would, I mean, ballpark, I can't remember. I can't see the size. Uh, maybe a bear lake. Maybe it's a bear lake? Okay. That, that may be like a 14 foot. That's probably a, a maybe right about four or 500 square feet tops. Okay. I don't know, 25, 30,000 pounds. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah. So you see that we're unloading off the, off the trailer, pulling out. And a lot of the customers like getting involved too. They always like trying to help. And so you're, uh, now we've got both the mules. We had two cabins going out to this property. That looks like a little larger one there. But you see those mules, I mean. Yeah, those things, that's a lot of weight. It's that a lot of weight. Right there. So now we're coming in and now we're going to start our, our creating your pier system on top of the ground using a combination of cement pads and blocks. So there they've got two mules on uh -huh. the end there. It's kind of working as a team. To, yeah, and why is that? Because it's really so high there? Because it's, it's pretty high there. Yeah, see, so it, they're going up pretty. See, so if you look at this pier now on one side, it was a lot taller yeah. than the one on the other side. But, so we're just going with the contour the difference of the in the ground. grade there. Yep. There's, your, there's your concept of pier and beam style building. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. It's a good, good picture, good video. Yeah. Awesome. So coming up here. And the, the nice thing about this too is, and everyone says, oh, I never had a pyramid, <coughs> excuse me, I never had a pyramid style home. But uh, the nice thing about this is you don't have a foundation. Yeah. For, especially in Texas soils right, and drought right. conditions. And, and from, you know, if anyone's ever had uh, foundation repairs done, yeah. it, they know it's, it's, it, it, very right. expensive, yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, or with this, foundation. you know, if you by chance you have uh, any type of settling or anything like mm -hmm. that, it's pretty easy. It's, yeah, uh, right. Jump yeah. up under there, and <laughs> right. jack it up a little bit, and put a shim in. You're yeah. back. You're back to normal. Uh huh. So uh -huh. You can see some shims going in right now. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So they're getting it perfectly level. Now the second cabin looks like it's going in. It's pretty cool. I still like watching this. Yeah, they're gonna. They're using a little bit of a different yeah. system this time. They're not uh, setting the entire thing on the ground to begin with. It looks yeah. like they're actually uh, what putting blocks on the end of it first. Yeah, they're gonna start the. Uh, and a lot of times, what they like doing is going ahead and start leveling as they pull as they off. Unload. And mm -hmm. uh, and it, it it's almost a, a game with them. Can they get it perfectly level as they pull off? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. There's typically some adjustments, but they, they have a, uh, they always like trying to do that. Uh -huh. so, and uh -huh. they do, they get a lot of times they get real close. Yeah. So. Now, Amanda had a question here. She said, what is the thing on the top end of the cabin? I think she's talking about the thing at the front, you know, where those two by fours are sticking down there. Uh, rewind. There we go, right there. Right there. Yeah. Go back a little bit. There we go. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. What's that thing? Oh, uh, that's the end a, that's actually a temporary. Uh, 
uh, a temporary, it's for transportation. So yeah. that's a great question. So, uh, and it's an angled piece of, I don't know the exact term for it, but you know, by chance, if we run over, you know, hit a hit a wire or, or come close to hitting wire, it's actually it's it pushes us. So it's at an angle, mm -hmm. and it, you know, if our truck's coming and yeah. there's a wire, it'll actually guide Slide that wider wire right over the top of the roof. Yeah, and it just sort of slides down. It's it's a safety precaution for the most part because anytime we have any type of wires, which is part of our, you know, we get routed. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know what our route is till the morning of, depending on construction and all that. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna, you know, we gotta take different routes to get yeah. to where we're going. And most of them are designed where there's not a lot of low hanging wires and yeah. stuff like that. But we have push poles and stuff like that mm -hmm. to get maneuver around those situations too. Yeah, so, so it's all about getting yeah. in there to your location. Right. Yeah, awesome. All so right, thanks good. for the good question, Good right there. Look at that, back up for a second. This is what, stop. That's their view. I mean, a hundred mile view where where these cabins are, and that's that's gorgeous. I just like showing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. That's uh, that's pretty much it now. I think we're basically down to the uh, there's and the there's factory. A, there's a shot of our factory and and our uh, our cabin park and some of the cabins we have built, shipping out our sheds and barns and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. All right, awesome. So, uh, any questions on anything else that you that we saw in that video that you weren't quite sure? Hey, what was that or what was that? Um, just type it in the chat, and uh, we'll try and get those answered for you. So, um, all right. So now, let's say we've got the cabin there. It's on the blocks. Uh -huh. Now, are we all done, or is Ulrich still doing some other work there yet? Yeah. So, depending on uh, you know, we're going to get it there leveled up. Mm -hmm. Ninety percent of of everything we sell uh, has porches. Mm -hmm. So our on-site crew will actually show up and now come in and complete any type of porches and okay. skirting. Yep. Uh, and there is, you know, there's a, uh, I always like letting people know Texas legislature actually passed a law, I think it was back in 88, that all cabins in Texas are required to have a full-length porch. You're not making this up? I am making that. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but that's it. I, and I say that because most, most people, people always get surprised. Man, those porches cost yeah. a lot. But uh, if I hear, ever hear one thing, you know, people try to save a few thousand dollars uh, and yeah. go short on the porch. That's right. the one thing I always hear is they're going, we shouldn't have went yeah. short on the porch. Yeah, so it's that's always, my joke. Right, to, right. To and I go out people. and I go out and I film some of our customers and their projects. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, the porch is one of the highlights yeah. often. It's yeah. just that porch yeah, is so awesome. Good. So. I mean, most people are going to be spending a ton of time outside. Yeah, so, right. Uh, do we have any questions? Yeah, we got a good question over on uh, YouTube. Steve Tucker that answered our question uh, said, have, have you ever set or anchored a cabin to a concrete slab? Yeah. So, uh, in fact, if you... Uh, you could probably back up a little bit. So, so that's a great question. So we actually build on each of our homes are built on a, a basically a six by eight beamers of runners. Yeah. Uh, and going directly onto a slab, we're still a pier and beam style home. So you could go ahead and lay a slab down. We're going to still create a pier system on top of that slab. Yeah. Or, or uh, you could have your concrete guy. Pour, a, pour the pier systems mm -hmm. and so but what we'll actually do is uh if this makes sense is we can come in there's several ways to strap down you can j-bolt uh mm -hmm. into you know put j-bolts into your slab and again we could strap mm -hmm. and 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 ratchet down still strapping into the yeah. j-bolts around our runners or beams that's one way uh the other way stop right there rexy stop you can see so there's one of our piers going down and uh, or one of our runners. So if that were a, like a, a pier coming out of a slab right now, we can actually take a piece of angle iron and bolt it into our, uh, you know, bolt it into our uh, runner or beam, mm -hmm. and then bolt it into the uh, pier too. So, and that way you're yeah. permanently anchored. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Numerous ways to do that. And have we done it? Yeah, we've done it quite a bit. Yeah, so. and the the um, those beams. There's four of those beams under each section of cabin. That's correct. correct. Right. So um, okay, awesome. Uh, any other questions, Rexy from YouTube? Hey, I got a question. Here's another giveaway. 
Is that is, can everyone see that picture on the video right now? All right, Rex will get back to you in just a second here. Yeah, so so on our on of our on our beans. So this is for another ten dollar gift card to Starbucks. There's some little metal things on our. Oh uh, yeah, right right on there. the on the beam there. Does anyone know what that is without me giving a multiple choice uh, question? Yeah, yeah. If you, we if talked you know, about this last we time. We talked. That's from the from a, uh, the, a couple episodes ago, I think. So, uh, anyone know the answer to that? Let me know. Ten dollar okay. gift card. If not, I'll give you a hint here in a minute. <laughs> okay. All right. Very okay. good. Very good. Uh, okay. So after the fact, there's going to be the porch coming in. If you ordered a porch. So our, one of our crews will come out and do that. Uh -huh. What else? Um, uh, skirting. Skirting. Yeah, so porches and skirting, all done with our on-site crew. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're going into some of our bigger three to four or five bedroom homes and doing more of a modular type build, where we're building out on some parts and, and finishing it out on site. It'll be, those homes are typically about, I'll oh, we'll call it 85 to 90% complete when they come okay. on site. Yeah. But then we're gonna you know, connect all the parts right. together while yeah. we're there. We don't like having any type of thresholds mm -hmm. uh, as far as flooring goes, so we're going to finish flooring out on yep. site. Uh, so there's, and then there's uh, even the just, exterior walls where they connect right. That's all going to be yeah. stitched together to where it looks really good. Yeah. So we and we do it two different ways, so mm -hmm. that we can have a seam or no seam. Okay. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. We got another uh, another question. So we have some answers actually to your question, but okay. y'all will get a kick out of this. One of the names I'm seeing on here is Johnny Salazar. Does that ring a bell to either of you guys? <laughs> yeah, and is that a, we're not going to accept John. that answer. <laughs> That'd be another good question. I introduced Johnny on a few videos ago and a few of a uh, few episodes ago. So, but Johnny is uh, he is one of our cabin designers. Uh, he the big teddy bear. Uh, and so he is not allowed to answer that question and he will not be awarded a no uh, gift card no for Johnny. Gift card. <laughs> Sorry, John. Sorry, John. <laughs> but, but we did have, uh, Beverly Eckstein, uh, answer hurricane anchors. It's hurricane. I'll take that. Okay. Hurricane okay. strap. Good enough. Yep, good enough. Yep. Perfect. All right. Do so we have any answers on YouTube? So send, and send your, uh, well now they're going to answer on YouTube. Why? Yeah. Um, now, Lawanda said the down bracket. She said, she, I forgot uh, what you called them. Yeah, what, what, is, what, what do you call it? Hey, hurricane strap. Yeah, yep. okay. Yep. All right, awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Excellent. So, uh, okay, good. Um, so we were talking, okay, so you got the, now let me ask you this. Let's say I am, I'm wanting to do just a little bit of a more of an upscale build, and I want to put a rock around my, I want to, like a rock skirting. Uh -huh. um, what yeah, so, do I still so, need so, that? Yeah, so the great, great point. So a lot of people, we, we had a question earlier about can we anchor into a, uh, a slab. Yeah. So anytime people want to go with a real traditional rock, true rock skirting mm -hmm. uh, around the cabin, which happens quite a bit. Uh -huh. That's why we anchor, we do it. It looks know, really do, good. Yeah, it looks cabin. awesome. Uh, there's two ways you can, anytime you're doing real rock work, you have to have a solid foundation, period, and okay. a conversation. Yep. So. Two ways you could do that. You could do that with a footer type system. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a footer type system uh, it is, if you can see my fingers here, uh, you could go around the perimeter and would do a footer, and it, the footer is like an upside down mushroom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, and that's what that, and you could do a, a perimeter deal to get, and basically that gives you a, a, a ledge or, or a footer to build, mm -hmm. do your rock work on. Yeah. And then you won't have any movement. Now to do a footer type system, try to. There's not a machine out there that I know of that creates the, the sort of the the, the mushroom, right, the profile. upside down mushroom for the footer. That's the best type of footer system I know. So it's a, it's all labor. Yeah. And it's a very labor intensive process yeah. to do that. So so when it's all said and done, that type of system versus just going ahead and pouring a slab, there's not a big cost difference. So I, always, I always recommend people to just pour the slab if yeah. you can do that. Uh, and typically you want about a five and a half inch uh, overhang outside of the perimeter, your okay. footprint that gives you that ledge yeah. to do your rock work on. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so the rock work's done. I'm gonna always encourage to, to build, put a slab down. Yeah, yep. interesting, interesting. All right, awesome. Um, 
Now, what else, you know, is that is that basically it then? I mean, at this point now, we need to, we need to hook up our utilities. Yeah, so all of our utilities are just stubbed out, uh, and that's, that's the requirement of the uh, customer. Mm -hmm. And so they, they simply got to make water, that connection of water, electric, and septic. It's all stubbed out, easy to do. Most of our homes go out with a 200 amp uh, service, so mm -hmm. simply run three wires up, hook them up to your box yeah. and you're up and running. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. uh, same thing, septic and uh, just make your connection yeah. to septic and water. And it's and all your connections uh, are around the perimeter of the building, right? Yeah. So it's not and like we'll, you have to we'll, crawl and, underneath in the yeah. middle of it or something. And that's part of our design too, is, is, is that we're, we don't just, we're looking at the entire project cost, not just what it costs to build a home. Yeah. So any time we can you say, hey, let's think about, let's talk about your electric or septic, where's your se electric coming in from, where's mm -hmm. your septic going to be? Because uh, a big part of, of, of infrastructure uh, when you get building the homes or any type of developments is the infrastructure. Yeah. And a big cost of that is running electric and water. Yeah. And the big cost on that is trenching. Okay. So, uh -huh. so anytime we could design to get cut to down reduce on those, that. To cut down on those costs, that's mm -hmm. how we're going to design the home. Yeah. 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 So we look we look at everything. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Any other questions come in on YouTube or Facebook? All right. Um, okay. Well, let's talk a little bit. Of, anything else you want to talk about on the delivery process or the setup there? No, I think I think we've uh, covered a, a lot of it. If if I've missed anything, hopefully some of the uh, questions will questions will come up. Yeah, that's sort of the, that is sort of the process. Right, yeah. right, cool. So just to kind of reiterate, from the time you sign it out of line to the time the cabin's rolling onto your property, we're looking at probably ten to twelve weeks. Ten to twelve weeks can extend out to about sixteen. And if you're if you're in a pinch too, I hate to even say this, but and the reason I say that is we we will hold a, a spot or two for emergencies. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, but now everyone's going to say I got an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Uh, so we do. Yeah. You know, we we try to accommodate. Yeah. But, uh, you know what we ask for is that ten to twelve weeks yeah. on average. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about next week's episode. So next week, this what, what is going to be the what's that? What are you going to wear? I don't know. What do they wear on game shows? Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> so, next next week is all. It's it's going to be kind of a fun wrap up episode. It's going to be our finale for season one, and uh, we're gonna. It's going to be really kind of a trivia style episode, okay. right? We're gonna. Um, so we'll be asking questions like we've been doing today, but it'll be more just questions about stuff we covered in prior episodes. Okay. We want to do a lot of giveaways. Okay, just sort of a recap of the season. Really a recap. Okay, yep. cool. And uh, there again, any question you guys have at that point. Um, you know, we'll, we can answer those. If you want to be in line to win gift cards, you may want to go back and if you missed any episodes, go back and watch those. Um, so you've got the knowledge to uh, to fire off those answers. You know. Okay. Uh, by the uh, way, are we going to start offering a naughty pecan sometime in the future on our uh, a nutty pecan uh, on on the exterior of our? Uh, I don't know if there's such a wood as nutty <laughs> pecan. <laughs> Well, I don't know if okay, naughty, have naughty. Nuts. Sorry, sorry, naughty, naughty. <laughs> well, you know, you know, butter pecan. I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> all right, okay. guys. Thank you for joining us. And uh, if you were one of the winners of the gift cards, make sure you email uh, Rexy at UlrichBarnes.com uh, because that's the way that we do send those gift cards out to you. So we will catch you next time.